You're from my hometown of Leeds. Yes. And you're studying to be an accountant. Yes. I'm part qualified at the moment, but I should be qualified by December, fingers crossed. So you win a million pounds. Uh, do you quit all that and, and scarper off somewhere lovely in the sun? <laughs> it would be nice. Um, my boyfriend lives in London, so it'd be nice to see him a bit more, buy a house, go on holiday. Well, let's see how you get on. You start with £1,000, Elizabeth. Are you ready? Yes. Good luck. Your time starts now. Which season of concerts began last week at the Royal Albert Hall? Pass. What is the name of the title character's brother in the American comedy series Frasier? Um, pass. Who became president of France in 1995? Jacques Chirac. Correct. What is the capital of Jordan? Pass. Who won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1921? Pass. The soldier T.E. Lawrence became popularly known by what nickname? Pass. By what name is the Australian gum tree usually known? Pass. Which athlete currently holds the men's world record for the 100 metres? Darren Chambers? No. Um, Campbell? No. Pass. Harry, Tom, Dougie and Danny are collectively known as which British boy band? Busted. No. Pass. Okay, you can use the brokers now. Which season of concerts began last week at the Royal Albert Hall? Childminder. £200. Deal for 200 The proms. Correct. What is the name of the title character's brother in the American comedy series, Frasier? Lecturer. Line three. Deal for 300 200 200 is 200 Nile. Correct. What is the capital of Jordan? Instructor. 200. 150. Deal for 150. I'm on. Correct. Who won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1921? Marie Curie. No. Lecturer. Line Deal three. For three. Deal for 300. 200. 250. 250. Deal for 200. Correct. By what name is the Australian gum tree usually known? Lecturer. Line three. Deal for 300. 200. 300. Deal for 300. Eucalyptus? Correct. Which athlete currently holds the men's world record for the 100 metres? Optician. Line 7. Deal for 250. Deal for 250. Montgomery. Correct. Harry, Tom, Dougie and Danny are collectively known as which British boy band? Jeweler. Line 1. 200. Deal for 150. 150 deal. McFly. Correct. Well done, Elizabeth. You had £2,000. You spent £1,700 on brokers, which left you with £300, but added to your £5,000 bonus for getting all your questions correct, leaves you with £5,300. <laughs> well, the brokers are important there. Let's see how the home brokers are getting on at the moment on £150. It's the jeweller. On £200, the accountant. Level on £250 each are the trucker and the optician, but leading the way on £750, the lecturer. So two contestants have taken their first step towards that million pounds, but have you, because you could very well be playing for it before the end of the show. All you have to do is call us on 09012 933 933 or get the old thumbs twiddling and text the word VAULT to 6332 and then start trying to remember every fact you've ever known. Coming up, our next three contestants start their journey to the jackpot right here on The Vault. Okay, next to play round one is Justine. Hello, Justine. Hi, Gabby. You're a postwoman in Oxford. Is that hard work on the legs? It is very hard work on the legs, but I love it. What would you do with a million pounds, Justine? I would treat myself to a holiday, buy some new clothes. I've got to give the postman a pound each at the office. How many postmen are there? Forty. Could you <laughs> afford a bit more than a pound if you want a million pounds, do you think? No. <laughs> you don't like them that much? No. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see if you can get off to a good start. You have a thousand pounds. Are you ready, Justine? I am. Good luck. Your time starts now. With which football club did Robbie Savage sign a four-year contract last week? Chelsea, Everton. No. Manchester United, no. Liverpool. No. Newcastle. No. Pass. Under what name does the Canadian singer Catherine Lang perform? Celine Dion? No. Um, pass. Francis' tomb of the unknown soldier lies beneath which Parisian landmark? Eiffel Tower? No. 
an Arc de Triomphe? Correct. To which actor is the writer Mary Haley Bell married? To which actor? Pass. The Saphir Simpson scale measures the intensity of which meteorological phenomena? Haley's Comet? No. Um, pass. Birds Without Wings is the current novel by which best selling British born author? Pass. Mount Vernon was the home of which American president? JFK? No. Lincoln? No. Pass. Okay, you can use the brokers now. What name does the Canadian singer Catherine Lang perform? Childwinder. 200. 150? Deal for 150. KD Lang. Correct. To which actor is the writer Mary Haley Bell married? Pass. Okay. The Saphir Simpson scale measures the intensity of which meteorological phenomena? Childwinder. 200. 150? Deal for 150. Hurricanes? Correct. Birds Without Wings is the current novel by which best-selling British ball author. Line three. Deal for 300. 200. 250. Deal for 250. Louis de Benier. Correct. To which actor is the writer Mary Haley Bell married? Oh. So John Mills is married to Mary Haley Bell. Well. Justine, you had £1,900. You spent £1,000 on the brokers, which leaves you with a total of £900. <laughs> Let's have a look and see how our home brokers are getting on. On £150, the jeweller. Level on £250 each, the trucker and the optician. On £400, the accountant. But leading the way on £1,000, the lecturer. Adam and Elizabeth start with another £1,000 each. This time, the questions are worth £200 and there's another £5,000 bonus for whoever gets the most right. They've got 15 seconds for each question, then it goes over to their opponent. Are you both ready? The first question goes to Adam. The time starts now. Former international player Teddy Sheringham signed a one-year contract with which First Division football club last week? Trafford Warden. 400. 300. Deal for 300. West Ham. Correct. Elizabeth, the Brazilian Mardi Gras festival celebrates the last day before which religious season? Uh, taxi driver. Line six. Deal for 300. Deal for 300. Length. Correct. Which man-made structure, Adam, completed in 1994, provides a rail route between the capital cities of England and France? Channel Tunnel. Correct. Adam, what name is given to the branch of philosophy that deals with the nature and expression of beauty? Physiotherapist. Line seven. 300. Deal for 300. Athletic. Correct. Elizabeth, which cruise ship now holds the record for being taller, longer and wider than any other passenger liner in the world? The world. No. Um, Childminder. 400. 300. Uh, deal for 300. The Oriana? No. The Queen Mary. I need more than that. Queen Mary II, first. Correct. Elizabeth, which artist is famous for her flamboyant, larger-than-life characters inspired by the people of Plymouth? <coughs> Over to you, Adam. Beryl Cook. Correct. Adam, the face of which Secretary of State for War appeared on the 1914 recruitment poster bearing the words, Your Country Needs You? Kitchener. Correct! <laughs> Elizabeth, in that round, you earned £1,100. Adam, you earned £1,600. Elizabeth, you gave me five correct answers. Adam, you gave me nine correct answers. That means you've won the £5,000 bonus, which takes your total up to £6,600. <laughs> Crucial question is, who's made the most money from both rounds? Because that's who's going to be going through to the final. Elizabeth, from rounds one and two, you have a total of £6,400. Adam, you have a total of £8,050. You're going through, Adam, to play for the jackpot. Well, sadly, it's goodbye to you, Elizabeth, but you are taking a tiny sum back to Leeds, aren't you? Yes, thank you. You'll be able you. to come up and down and visit your boyfriend now. <laughs> Just a bit more, yes, thanks. Thank you very much for playing, Elizabeth. <laughs> Time starts now. For £250, faster, higher, stronger is a translation of the motto of which sporting event? Vicar. Line two. Deal for 700. 200. Deal for 200, the Olympics. Correct. 
for £500, in which British city are the DVLA headquarters located? Swansea. Correct. For £750, in the Herman Melville novel, what type of animal is Moby Dick? A whale. Correct. For £1,000, to which fruit family do the damson and greengage belong? Plum. Correct. For £2,000, the ride of the Valkyries is by which composer? Beethoven, Tchaikovsky, no. Rimsky-Korsakov. No. Um, Vicar. Line two. Deal for 600. 500. Deal for 500, Wagner. Correct. For £5,000, the ceremony of the keys is held every evening at which London landmark? Instructor. 500. Deal for 500. Tower of London. Correct. For £8,000, which music producer famously coined the phrase, the wall of sound? Phil Spector. Correct. For £25,000, who's the current president of the European Commission? Instructor. Uh, £2,000. Oh, Adam! Oh! You were doing so well there. The final question, which would have taken you to the million pound question, Romana Prodi is the president of the European Commission. How are you feeling? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Did the time just, just run away from you there? Yeah, that's, I should have known that, Macbeth. On. It took you a long time to get there, didn't it? And it took them a long time to help you as well. Yeah. They have helped you a lot today, the brokers, haven't they? How They've do you feel all, about them all now? Been great. All the other contestants have been brilliant as well. You've done really well. That's, that's obviously um, a fair bit of money, though, for you to, uh, to spend on your garden, if you so wish, or do a bit more <laughs> travelling. I think it's the travel, isn't it? I think so, yeah. <laughs> You've won £19,850! <laughs> Travel in Australia, you said. Where are you going to go first in Australia? Yeah, well, uh, last time I ran out of money at the top of the West Coast, <laughs> so I'd like to go and finish off and do the rest of the West Coast. I think it'll take you a bit of a time to uh, run out of nearly £20,000. Hopefully, yeah. Adam, it's been great having you here today. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Really pleased for you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's have a little look and see how the brokers have done. First, our home brokers. Well, only the one gunning off the mark there on £700. It's the vicar. Thanks to all of you and good night. Good night. Bye. Hello, this is Gabby Logan calling from ITV1's The Vault. You're live on air right now. Who am I speaking to? Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> That's not a name, though, is it? What's yeah, your name? It's Stephen, isn't it? Stephen! Uh, in Liverpool. In Liverpool, Stephen. OK, and there's obviously somebody with you. Who's that? It's me getting a friend. I'm one of my daughters. OK. They can help you, of course, tonight, but I can only take answers from you, Stephen. You've got six questions in 60 seconds. You should already know the first two. We're counting on you, Stephen. You've got to speak clearly, OK, Stephen? Yeah, OK. OK, and the answers have to come from you. They can help you, but we have to hear them from you. OK. You'll see the questions on the screen and how much time you've got left. Are you ready? Yeah, OK. Gabby. Good luck, Stephen. Best of luck. Your minute starts now. In the cartoon The Flintstones, what's the name of Fred's pet dinosaur? Dino. Correct. Who became president of France in 1995? Who became president of France in 1995? Uh, Jacques Chirac. Correct. Which juice is mixed with vodka to make the cocktail Bloody Mary? Tomato juice. Correct. Who won the women's singles final at Wimbledon this year? Uh, Maria Sharapova. Correct. Who wrote the novel Dr. Zhivago? Dr. Zhivago. Come on. Have a guess, Stephen. <laughs> Who wrote the novel, Dr. Zhivago? Ah, go on, Gabby. I'm not into books. She's into books and she's just sitting there looking at me. <laughs> she's gone blank. Oh, Stephen! I'm so sorry, Stephen. Let's, let's give her a name then. Who was that that was looking blank? Uh, Jeanette. Jeanette. Oh, well, I'm sorry Jeanette couldn't help you there. You were, you were doing quite well until that point. You must be getting quite excited. I know, I was, yeah. Had you, been, had you, you haven't had time to think about what you spent a million pounds on, had you? Oh, I think so, yeah. I think I'll just go away, buy a couple of horses. That'll take the lot. Well, thanks ever so much, Stephen. Thank you very much to you. All right, thanks, Gary. Thank you. See you now.
Next week, the million pound jackpot will be up for grabs again. You could be playing here in the studio, or you could be a home broker, or you could be playing for the jackpot from your own armchair, just like Stephen, when six correct answers could make you a winner. And two of those answers will have already been given during the show. Make that call right now, 09012 933 933, or text VAULT to 6332 to see if you have the knowledge to unlock the vault. We're back next Tuesday, 8 o'clock. Until then, a very good night.